How can we use visuals to communicate more effectively? Welcome back to the Hello World Show. I'm Spencer Schneidenbach. I'm Heather Downing. And we're here with David Neal, a Microsoft MVP and a senior software developer for LeanKit. Welcome. Well, glad to be here. Gra glad to have you. What are you going to teach us today? Uh, we're going to talk about visualization. So you guys are all about doing visual uh, videos. So I thought, well, let's talk about the power of visual communication. I love that. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> so I'm a software developer turned Amateur artist, sort professional of artist. We have fantastic <laughs> drawings from you. No, I just—it's a hobby of mine that I, I just love doing. Uh, it's something that I discovered a few years ago, and just have kept doing it ever since. Nice. So, uh, I guess to get started, it's—it's it's really about visualization. So our eyes and so forth. Did you know that 40% of the nerve endings that are connected to our brain come from our retina? What? Yeah. I actually and did not know that. And about 90% of the data that our brain receives is visual information. And our brains can process images and, t you know, visual information about 60,000 times more better than text. So the saying that a picture is worth a thousand words is really an understatement. Our brains, when we look at pictures, can instantly get so much information than, than we could ever process by, by reading a bunch of stuff. It takes a long, lo much longer to to get the same amount of information. So it's really an understatement. We can do things so much more powerfully and effectively with visual information. Um, about three years ago, I found this video of a guy talking about using the power of visualization in uh, for like public speaking and so forth. And I thought, I, I'm gonna try that. And the first time I did, my pictures were you know, terrible stick figure drawings and all that <laughs> kind of stuff, but my audience was like blown away. And I was like, I, I'm not, I didn't become a better speaker overnight. That's, that's not gonna happen. But the visualizations made a huge, huge difference. Um, that's why things like, like a Kanban board to do, doing and done kind of thing a visual way of managing work, you know, where you have like cards on a board of what's going on. That's a very powerful tool for, for managing work because it turns our work into something we can, we can see and manipulate. Our brains can process a visual board way, way faster than like looking at a bunch of statuses on a spreadsheet or something like that. So it is really, really, really powerful. So when did you decide to apply this in a development way? Because we're so used to seeing text, right? We're so used to seeing our code. Right. So, I, you know, I don't draw normally like when I'm writing code, <laughs> but if I'm doing something silly like a README or writing some documentation for the code I'm doing and I'm sharing that with my coworkers or people I know is going to be reviewing my code later, I'll add some funny stuff to it. I'll add some, some visualizations. Or if we're going to be doing a demo, like every couple of weeks, we'll do some demos at our in our company. If I'm going to be involved in something like that, you know, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to add some funny drawings, you know, to go along with it, and it makes makes it stick. People remember those things a lot more than than anything else. I was in an awesome talk this morning with Arthur Doyle, talking about how we learn, yeah. and he said our brains. How did he put it? Our our brains love to be shocked or you know surprised. surprised by what we see and that's that's the deal when you so people say well i, I can't draw well you know uh, you know th this is great for you david you've been doing this and you're good at it but uh, you know i can't do this thing well yes you can 
you anybody I think this is a skill <laughs> that anybody can do I can draw little <laughs> happy trees <laughs> 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 if you can draw shapes and if you can draw some lines and you can draw letters and numbers and even you know blobs just with those basic things you can con can communicate so much information um, you know your lines and things can can become stick figures and stick figures are really all you need to do a lot of things to, to show action you can put hands and feet on the guys you know so now he's doing something um, you can draw like with a blob you could draw the most popular thing in the you know on in programming right now the cloud mm -hmm. <laughs> or a pile of JavaScript <laughs> 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 um, there you know and just just using basic shapes you can do things that you didn't think you could draw like I'm gonna draw a city landscape just out of squares now is that the best city landscape you've ever seen no kind of looks but like our city actually kind of <laughs> looks like Kansas City right there <laughs> and or even things like okay I'm gonna draw uh, I don't even know how to do this but I'm going to do some triangles and another triangle here and another triangle here and another triangle here and now I've got something that looks kind of like a bicycle that's not the best bicycle ever but you know when you look at that like that's a bicycle but yes so it's not really that hard to get started and it's way more interesting way more entertaining and people remember these things whereas you know bullet points on a presentation or or bullet points you know just a bunch of text in a readme file or whatever communication it is you know maybe you're writing a blog post you know throwing in some some interesting even terrible drawings is going to be way more effective than just text alone well i'm convinced now we have to do hand done drawings for all of our slides now well i'm just <laughs> thinking i'm just going back to all of my blog posts that i've written recently and like how can i enhance them with just triangles and circles how can I get my message across better absolutely just I being able to to communicate a process like here's how we get from step one to step two and here's how you know here's yeah. the things we got to learn along the way those are those are powerful I think that the real impact for me when you were describing is the fact that our brains take in so much visual information and mm -hmm. really prioritize that over text I mean I if that's the way we're tuned you, you really w yeah. I mean it's like meeting a customer requirement, right? You got to go where they are. Oh, but it's so hard as a speaker because I want to be prompted by the words on the screen because I have a terrible memory. Okay, well, that's another incredible bonus to, to drawing your own slides. So just like when you're in school and you took notes while the teacher was talking, there's something about the physical act of writing that down that when you go back and you look at your notes, it's like, oh, yeah, I remember blah, blah. You know, you, r you remember a whole lot more than what you actually wrote down. The same thing happens when you draw your slides. While I'm drawing a slide, I will be thinking about all the things that I want to say. And then when that picture comes up on the screen, it's like, oh yeah. I don't have to try to memorize a whole bunch of stuff. It just naturally comes to me and makes me a better speaker because now I can remember all those things I wanted to say. Nice. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much for coming and showing us this. I actually do kind of feel empowered for yeah. to be able to go and do yeah. that. So yeah, maybe yeah. I need to start drawing. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> you are welcome. Tell us what questions you have for our guests. See, See you, you next time. time.